Winter farming, cover crops to tide the field over until spring planting. At UT's Ag Research Center in Spring Hill, there are test plots of cover crops. Everything from plain old weeds to wheat and clover, even radishes and turnips. If it'll grow in cold weather, it can cover the ground. Where we do see the benefits of cover crops is, is, is years when we have uh, less than adequate rainfall in the summer. Eight up to eight inches an hour, so that's really big, you know. Soil scientist Forbes Walker is leading a study here measuring infiltration rates when heavy rains soak a cover crop and how we might hang on to some of that precious moisture for a not so rainy day. It's a project on how the soil can build resilience against both floods and droughts. We're learning that some cover crops will actually dramatically increase our infiltration rates, you know, from in some cases less than an inch an hour to we've been measuring up to eight inches an hour. Farmers put cover crops in the ground to reduce erosion, suppress weeds, and boost the nutrients in the soil. Now there's the possible added benefit of improved water retention. Herbert College of Agriculture grad student Adam Zimmerman here uses a device called a Saturo meter, gauging what it might be like if a gully washer hit. They measure infiltration, saturated hydraulic conductivity, um, which is the ability for the soil to transmit water um, when it's saturated. As for these cover crops, there's another planned use for them, feed for livestock. Our beef cattle segment can honestly utilize these cover crops to graze uh, before we go in and terminate the cover crops, bringing value uh, to the beef industry. When the cattle here at the station have had their fill, corn will be planted on this land. Meantime, the cover crops will continue to make this field a better plot of farmland. Soils are holding water because of cover crops, moisture that will likely be needed later in the growing season. This is Charles Denny reporting.